<laughs> Alive. <laughs> Fuck. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today TikTok made me buy it and I found this eyeshadow palette that let me just show you. Are you are y'all serious? Like look at this. Like got the greens, the reds, the blues, and the purples, like oh my gosh. And I'm gonna film an eyeshadow look with you guys, but this is the color board by Beauty Glaze, and I got this on Amazon. And, and let me show you how much it costs. I think it was only like 30 bucks or something. Maybe even less. This was only $16 for this many colors. And it says that it's a highly pigmented eyeshadow palette. And it comes with 60 colors. And yeah, I found this on TikTok because I was like, no, I only like red eyeshadow colors. So... I wanted something with a bunch of colors, but I didn't really want to break the bank, and this was only 16 bucks. So, this is the packaging. Color board by Beauty Glaze. As you can tell, it has like a holographic gloss. Oops. And it is like a little flip book thingy. So, you just open it like that, and then you just like whatever color you want. You just move it. I think this is really cool because it saves a lot of space. So I like that. And um, it says that it's pigmented. So let's see. So some. let me try the yellow shades because sometimes yellow shades come out as too sheer. Oh my goodness. I don't know. It looks kind of chalky, but... I don't know if you could tell, but let's just... Okay, alright, you know. I'm gonna let y'all be the judge of that. So here's that yellow shade. Um, I don't think it comes with names. So there's no names to these shades. So I'm just gonna show y'all. Um, I want to try out the shimmery shades. So I'm gonna tap into this orange shimmery shade and let me just show you okay as you can tell it's a little patchy but you know what it seems like it's more glitter than actual eyeshadow i feel like the specks of glitter coming off and it just has like an agent to bind um the glitters together this blue shade it looks like this on my fingertip. Oh, that's so pretty. It's like a metallic -y blue color. That's really nice. I really want to swatch this, um, this color right here. So let me just do that. Ooh, okay. So dipping my finger into it, it feels really soft. So... It doesn't feel too soft to the point where if you press it down, the eyeshadow rises up a little bit. So it feels pretty um, pressed in there. So Okay, well you can't really tell because I'm dark. So it is what it is. I'm going to take this shade right here, do a swatch test. Wow. Okay, and then let me do a... Let me figure out what kind of makeup look I'm going to do. Uh, I'm not really that good at makeup. I'm just going to challenge myself today and, you know, just sit back and, and watch, you know. I'm going to try this again. I just did a makeup look and it didn't look that good. But if you want to see it, comment down below and I'll post it because it looked so bad. It looked so bad. I was like, damn, makeup is hard sometimes. All the time. 
I'm doing this because like there's like glitter on my face and life hack you can use a spoolie to take off glitter like on you or on your face I just feel like um, the bristles uh, really get the glitter out so I'm gonna try this look that I found I feel like it's a little easier so it's only like three co four colors I think but I'm gonna just do this and let's see where it takes me. So first, I'm going to use a yellow shade for my transition shade. This one that's in the green palette. So, Fallout, yes, it's pretty chalky. So, I'm taking the Morphe M573 brush just to use for my transition shade. It looks really visible on camera, but um, to me, it looks pretty sheer um, in real life. So I'm going to take the Morphe M511 brush and I'm just going to buffer out the top to just clean it up. Okay, so that's the yellow transition shade. I'm going to take the M Morphe M433 brush. It's kind of like a flat blending, blending brush. And I'm going to dip into a pink shade. So, it seems like all these colors are matte, so I'm going to dip into I'm going to dip into this one cuz I kind of want a more peachy color. I don't think this is going to look right on my eyes. Oh, wow, a little really does go a long way if you guys can tell. And then I'm doing it on my crease and I'm slowly going up so it blends with my transition and my crease if that makes sense it's kind of making it look orange okay i think it was orange that's why these colors look really different on my skin compared to in the palette and on camera too interesting Okay, and now I'm gonna dip into a purple shade and I'm gonna tap it all over my lid. Designer, makeup designery. Okay, anyways, it's the 630 brush and it's just a flat brush and it's a purple shade. So let me go on to the purple shades. I'm gonna use this color right here and then I'm just gonna pat it. So I'm getting some sunset vibes. Oops. I'm gonna put some eyeliner. I feel like it looks so good with this eyeshadow. Again, I'm gonna take another blending brush. It needs to blend, blend, blend. So I'm gonna just blend away. Oh shit, my camera's gonna die. Be right back. I took a nap because um. Um, what I realized though, it's kind of hard to blend these shades together. Uh, yeah. You can kind of just like, definitely see like, it, it like wants to blend, but it really doesn't. And I don't even think I need to try that hard to blend for an eyeshadow, you know? But you know what, let's work with it. Hmm. I think that's the best that it would get. Okay. Ooh, it's gonna look so cute with eyeliner. I feel like even if I put like lashes and eyeliner, you probably can't even tell with the eyeshadow that it's not really hella blended because you know, trust the process. So I'm taking the NYX um, Epic Ink Liner and then I'm just gonna put some eyeliner on. I don't know. The yellow throws me off. My eyeliner doesn't look the same. <sighs> it looks like a toucan. Ooh, maybe I should like make that little cat eye thingy. I don't know how you do it though. <laughs> I look weird. Okay, I'm gonna just put some lashes on and I'm just gonna call it a video and then talk about what I like and don't like. 
All right, so this is the uh, finished look. I feel like I'm getting some Cleopatra vibes and stuff. Um, my lashes and she. It's kind of a look, low key though. Let me put some lip gloss. My lips look kind of dry. Okay. So, um, review for the palette. I recommend this, especially for people for people who want to play with colorful colors and don't really want to pay like 50 bucks for a palette. This is literally $17 on Amazon. Like, like what? Y'all got me bent. Y'all really charging 17 bucks for all of this? Like, that's crazy. You can create so much looks by using this palette. And the f it's four palettes in one. And it's not even, like, hella bulky or anything. So, yeah. I recommend this. And it was fun doing my makeup. I don't really do stuff like this. So, it was fun trying to, like, play with makeup and stuff. get this palette if you want just do it honestly just do it and they're also pretty pigmented too like wow look at that cons i feel like it was just really hard to blend if you're down to blend for a long ass time then you're good i hope y'all like this tutorial not even tutorial i was just like i just really wanted to play with makeup and it was so fun to do i hope y'all enjoyed my struggle it is what it is it is what it is <laughs> i'm gonna see you guys in the next video and don't forget to like this video and comment down below on what do you guys think of this makeup look but also subscribe to my channel i try to upload videos every week you know it'd be hard sometimes though because you know this mercury retrograde is kind of throwing me off so but you know i'm gonna bounce back I'm trying to so i'm gonna see you guys and thank you guys for watching bye